The rival brother's name is really, it's, you know, it's kind of a tongue in cheek on, on Damien and I. We're not really rivals, but it's, it's just a twist on our relationship. You know, we just kind of grew up together. We explored all the different kind of um, ideas for brand names. We were able to kick a lot of stuff around and, and settle on something that we felt represented us, you know, and have a little fun with it and not take it too seriously. Damien and I met in high school. The, uh, we played soccer together. We grew up, you know, through those high school years. We were friends in high school, but it wasn't really until after we graduated high school that, that that's where we started to spend a lot of time together. I ended up moving to the city, living with him in Philadelphia. And we worked in the same restaurants, and we would always talk about opening our own place, whether it be like a restaurant or a bar or a cafe. There was a bar that we used to go to, this little Irish place uh, on Walnut Street, and just hang out and just dream big. It was just dreaming, talking. And uh, we would draw like flooring plans as far as like flow of the restaurant to the kitchen, all this crazy stuff. And then it just happened to be that we both had an interest at you know, a certain point of our lives in coffee. Damien took it upon himself to, to learn about roasting after he had traveled a lot to the West Coast. Really opened his eyes and you know, he would get really excited about sharing with me, like, dude, you're not gonna believe this coffee I had today. You know, I can make coffee taste the way I want it to taste. And I was like, I could roast, you know? So when John and I started coming up with different blends, it just made sense that, you know, this is what we want to do. Well, the truck originally was started because it was easier to run with just one or two people at the time. And it, we weren't in the position to hire like a whole staff. The, the overhead, you would assume, would be less. We felt like it was a perfect way for us to launch the business. You know, we thought this would be great. We can drive around, make coffee for people, and um, it's something different. It was something new at the time, and, you know, we really saw an opportunity to just stand out a little bit. And uh, it was a learning experience, and just to challenge yourself of how much you're willing to work. On days that I roast, Jonathan's opening the cafe. I get to the cafe early, around 6.30, and, you know, I get to be a barista until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's... It's great, you know, and just making making coffee for people, talking to people, engaging, listening to stories. It, it's not so unlike being a bartender. We have a set amount that we'll roast for the day. Uh, we have all our orders for that day that are gonna go out on the Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. And then after everything's packed, uh, roasted and uh, blended, we'll weigh it out, bag it, seal it, you know, label it, box it up, and then ship it out. It's a pleasure to walk into a shop and be able to sit down and, you know, have a coffee, which living on a truck for the past year and a half, you know, I really took for granted. Uh, things like, you know, running water or whatever, you know, you, you, it's a hustle. Where we're located in Fittler Square, we want, we felt it was a really good demographic for us. We're just a mix of students, there's doctors, there's lawyers, there's uh, artists, there's, that's, you know, our community. It's not work, it's not home, it's not school, it's, it's uh, somewhere where you go to socialize, you know, uh, which is why we loved going to cafes when we were younger and somewhere to drink really good coffee and that's our goal. Our intent is to make really excellent coffee that is considered and being nice to people and showing them a good time. The future of Rival Brothers is just to continue to make great coffee. The approach that we're taking is, is always going to be artisanal and boutique. Our goal is to, to keep that passion alive and to stay approachable, to stay humble, and to just share it and share it and share it. The other day after I was closing up, I was at, I just remember not thinking we would get to that point, let alone finding a location, building the location and completing it, and then being able to close the door after a really good busy day. It was like, wow, you know, we've really come a long way. At the end of the day, man, it feels awesome to just go home and be like, you know, I worked hard today, it doesn't matter if it was good or if it was bad, if it was busy, if it was slow. It just feels great to do it, you know, for yourself. If it's a big company and it's wildly successful, that's great. But if not, and we still have a good company and it's local, I mean, that's fine too. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be working with my best friend and, and being able to support the family. That's where it comes down to.